Welcome to my project ideas. This is an ongoing series on chat GPT. And in this particular video, we'll learn how to create a simple SAP app project using chat GPT. And apart from this, we'll also discuss few more aspects of chat GPT over SAP app developers. So there are a few prerequisites like you need to have chat GPT access. You need to have SAP IDE access so that you can write a web code. And it's good to have basic knowledge of SAP app. So there, uh, here is the flow of uh, SAP ABAP code writing using chat GPT. So you need to have SAP access. Then you need to create SAP ABAP project or SAP ABAP report using a transaction called SE38. And then you use chat GPT to write snippets of ABAP and just copy and paste and run the ABAP code. Before we start the actual coding part, Let's learn some impact on a webper's life and jobs via ChatGPT. So ChatGPT can do automation of repetitive tasks. It means like if you have been asked to create something very similar, always, you know, and uh, or you have switched the company, but you don't have your old code. So you don't have any reference to copy and paste and you need to Google it again and again. So rather than Googling, just you can ask ChatGPT and it will give you some set of code. And even you can ask chat GPT to improvise uh, existing code. So apart from that, you can improve the accuracy and quality of the code. And then you can take an assistance in terms of documentation. So you can provide a piece of code and ask chat GPT to create a documentation for that. So it's a very often that we need to create TSFS. And for that, we need to write a lot of things. So rather than focusing on those parts, we can focus on the coding part. And then knowledge transfer, certainly with the help of documentation that you have just created, you can let the new developer know that this is a documentation and you can refer him or her to chat GPT to ask the basic questions related to this project. And certainly chat GPT will generate new job opportunities. So if you know chat GPT, if you know AI, certainly you will have a new job in a bad development. So apart from that, these were the positive impacts, right? So. It is crucial for ABAP developers to continually upskill, continually know the new technology in the market and adapt to those new technologies and developments. So we have also created an article for you. The link of this article will be provided in the description of the video. So we have also discussed uh, something called how to do setup for SAP ABAP development IDE. Certainly a lot of people ask uh, how to start development without the access. So either you can go online, search for some ID providers. People do provide at a very low cost, 500 Indian rupees per month. And that can be like, you can convert it into your own currency. And uh, apart from that, the question that uh, I just mentioned is like, how will chat GPT impact a webber's life? So here we have written descriptive answer. And also we have explained how can chat GPT assist in knowledge transfer. For that also we have written descriptive answer. So these things you can go through this post and learn. The important part is like how we can use chat GPT to create a, a web project. So we have provided a link over the article. We'll also add this link in the description of the video. So you have to visit this link. This is the link. It will open up uh, like a, something like this new chat. And uh, once you are done, once you are like, once you reach here, you need to ask your question, your query. So we have already written a question for you and we'll just copy this question. Go to chat GPT and ask this question. While the chat GPT generates an answer for us, we'll go to SAP ABAP logon, write SE38 and then write the name of the program that we want, chat GPT gen because we're generating chat GPT code. Chat GPT ABAP code generation. This is the name of the program that we have chosen. We execute a program, save it as a local object, and save and activate the report. We'll go back to see what uh, it has done. So the question is to create a SAP ABAP report that takes two input 
and I have the option to do sum, subtraction, multiplication, deletion of the entered numbers. So in this way, you have to enter your query in a descriptive manner. And based on that, it will perform some uh, operations in the background and give some output to you simply like that. And it is very quick. So if uh, just copy the entire code, paste it up. Certainly we cannot use this report name because we have already created a report and uh, we don't need this thing whatever error you are getting that's uh, that's a thing that you have to solve with by yourself or you can ask uh, you know like i have an error now the operation can be up to eight character long makes sense that that's something uh, has been um, always from a web end so see this is an issue right and this issue means i have to change the code for the entire section so i will just enter the error here see even uh, it understands later on that uh, their limit is of eight character so now it is giving a new code it is generating the entire code once again for me or what i could have done is like manually i could have changed the entire code right but rather than changing, we can just ask the chat GPT and it will return some fixes. So fixes are very good in case they are for small snippet of code. But in case you are adding complex code, the generated answers are giving errors. It is better to go and do research on Google. So it is not very good in terms of complex code writing. It is good. As of now, it is good in writing simple codes. Certainly they are updating their uh, algorithm on daily basis so certainly in future we might expect that it will generate entire end-to-end -end code perfect so it is done okay so finally we have generated the right code and uh, now before proceeding i would like to add uh, the new other text that we want to show so text one will be select a radio button for operation save and activate it go back text 2 will be for addition let's call it add 0 3 will be subtract 0 4 will be multiply and 005 will be division. Save it, activate it. Go back, activate the entire report. Execute it. So even numbers can be this numbers that you can see PNUM. Even these can be renamed. So for that, go to go to command and uh, selection text is there p num will be number one number two i guess that's it might not need to rename the radio buttons so now you have option of number one number two you can add subtract multiply division two and two is entered now the result is 4. Subtraction will give you 0. Multiplication will again give you 4. And the division will give you 1. Make sense? So if I just go through the code. So we have created a selection screen with a frame and title. And then we have created radio buttons like this. 4 radio buttons. Each radio button will have a text associated with that using the text only we are showing the name of the operation and also each radio buttons have a parameter which is rv1 rv2 rv3 rv4 and then we have added some cases over start of selection if rv1 is selected what will happen rv2 is selected what will happen and like that if everything is mentioned so if i just uh, do one more thing try to divide one by zero because we have did a we have written a you know uh, check for that also so division by zero is not allowed 
so this entire code was generated by chat gpt right so successfully we have we have written the code and um, that's it for today's video we'll see you in next video thank you very much